<laughs> We're a little late. Not much. Actually, only six minutes. Yeah. That's okay. pretty good. I'm here. Okay. We're live! <laughs> well, it was funny, because I was like, really like, stuffing our face, yeah. and it's like 7.30. I'm like, John's not here. I'm going to blame him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. No. no. That's valid. No. We were all running late. Steve's bus situation is crazy today, apparently. So. Okay. And we're live! Um, we are here it, with our new table. It's so fancy. Uh, um, in our somewhat under construction living room, just out of frame by Steve's side is... Where we put drinks. It's 90% <laughs> of our game collection. It's going to work out well. It goes to like Steve's... It goes to here on Steve. Um, yeah. yeah, the one pile. Otherwise it's like average here, I think. No. Um, and there's six or seven stacks of game that go to there, and it's just out of frame. So we just won't even mention hmm. it. Which is not true. We're totally gonna bring it up. Okay. Um, so we're playing a whistle stop. <coughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> Itchy. Why are you so barky? We're playing Whistle Stop, which is designed by Scott uh, Caputo, and it is being published by Visor Games. It'll be out at Gen Con. Um, thank you very much, Visor Games, for sending us this copy so that we can stream it. Uh, Steve and I have played this three times now. Mm -hmm. I think I've only played it twice. And I've played, played it three times. times. You played it um, at a thing. Origins. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And then this will be John's first time. So he mm. is learning the rules along with you all. That's right. Um, and because we were stuffing our faces, we didn't do setup. So we're going to do setup on stream for you all. Luckily, I packed everything so setup would be a little easier. Yep. So the rules are super straightforward. If you watch my unboxing video, the rules are very basic. The board goes together like a little bit of a puzzle board. Um, it's not that difficult to a puzzle. We need to run it. It's going to have to go where the box is once you get it. No, this box. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you said it's going to have to go where the box is. Yeah, okay. 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 Um... <laughs> Alright, um, so what we do is just put the wooden tokens all in one container and then just the cardboard in another. We had bigger containers all the time. Um, orange, a blue, which is gonna mess up yep. John's deck. Yep, that's fine. Um, and then green. Um, so everybody gets their trains. In a three-player game, we will be each using five trains. Um, and then everybody needs their, like, player board thingy. Okay. Ooh. Um, and then... Three trains, you said? Uh, five. Five. Oh, five. You get five trains. Yep. All the trains. You get three and a five player and five and a three player. These are the basic ones. These are the depots. And then these are the upgrades we have for. So, the tiles, um, there's a lot of these tiles in the game. But the ones with the dark green box, these are the end of the, like, they're the west coast tiles. The ones with the light green box, these are the normal play tiles. You want to make sure that you have all of the town slash depot tiles, which are the ones with the big black mm. stuff on them, um, separated because during setup you're going to shuffle them and do some stuff with them. And then the big green tiles, the dark green tiles, you're going to shuffle and you're going to put in a row along the west coast. Yes, you're going to put all the two of them. Yep. Do you need these? Do I need to randomize the... Oh. Just, just shuffle them and okay. put, yeah, all the two. So um, and, and then, back. yeah, and then uh, John is dividing out the stock, because in this game there are stock companies that we will be able to purchase stock in, kind of like an 18xx style game. Um, and then... I'm gonna shuffle a little bit. This is the new table. This is a shiny new table. Hi. 
It has that new table smell. No, that would be the um, shellac on the shelves. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's probably too hot to leave these out <laughs> all day. That and I wanted them in so I could start. That's really cool. Visualizing how they were to be arranged. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I did shuffle. No 25. That's, that's good. Okay, and then um, how many upgrades? Do you remember? It's number of players. Plus one. Plus two? I think it's plus two. Two. Yay! Okay, so then there are these gears. These are the upgrades, the player upgrades. Um, and what you're going to do with these is figure out how to open Logitech settings to stop the camera from focusing. So you're going to shuffle, and then you're going to do number of players plus two, and you're going to put those out in kind of like a public market where people can, can see them. So we need five. And then these are extra. All right. And then Steve is randomizing. So you're going to see this middle column, and then you're also going to see the starting row um, and then we're gonna have, then we have to shuffle all of these tiles together, which is a ridiculous amount of tiles. Um, Looks pretty ridiculous. So the center, the, deck. the center, you're gonna take a coal yard, a trading post, one random other special tile, which in this case is a gold mine, two towns, and then three random regular tiles. And then you're gonna shuffle those together and put them in the middle. And then each of those towns is going to correspond to uh, one of the stocks. So we're basically going to have two stock opportunities in the center column. Which I think so do you not need all these then? No, we do. Oh. We do. These are where you're going to uh, get those. I see. Yeah, they're randomly throughout the giant stack. They're going to get mixed in with the giant stack. Hey, Kabuki Kid, how'd my bo blah, 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 blah. Hey, Matt Bona, hey, Charles. Um, Eden messaged me yesterday to tell me she's not going to make it today. Hmm. She's very upset. Um, she's very excited for Whistle Stop. So, yeah. I'm sorry you couldn't be here, Eden. Steve's doing the very high tech. Patented, patented shuffle system. I'd ripple shuffle, but then we might ruin the game. Yeah. Um, so while Steve does the shuffling of amazingness, I will teach you the game. So he's also going to seed this um, first row in a second, um, but I'm going to steal some tiles from this random pile so that I can teach by example. Um, this is a horrible random example pile. I give up. <clears throat> Um, okay, so um, in this game we are, it's kind of, uh, there's trains, we, we, we own trains and we are picking up cubes and then delivering those cubes to towns um, for specific companies so we can purchase stock. Ba well, we don't even really purchase the stock. Basically, we do a delivery to this company, and the company is like, wow, you're really great. We can't pay you. Have some shares. Like a startup? Kind of, yeah. So um, we're going to make a delivery to these towns, get paid in these shares, which um, you do get some points when you make the delivery, and the shares will be worth points at the end of the game, but only for the majority shareholder. Then there are, over here on the west coast, there are final delivery locations for your trains, and once your train gets to here, it will deliver the cubes denoted on the tile, and then you will get, like, a bonus of your choice from up there, and once those bonuses are gone, or once somebody has taken a bonus, no one else can take that same bonus. So those are, like, the final destinations? Yeah. Of your trains. Um, not all of your trains are going to get that far, but if one player's train, all if all, all of one player's trains do make it to the final destination, um, that will signify that round will be the last round. Um, that player in basically triggers game end. You finish that current round, and then the game's over. Otherwise, we are going to play the number of rounds denoted by this player track. I believe for three players, it's nine rounds. Um, 
maybe 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, I fail at everything. Um, so for three players, we're going to play um, 11 rounds. Normally in the setup, you're supposed to put stacks of coal, two for each player, on this like thing to help with the round markers. But that is so horribly awful because every time somebody shakes the table or like reaches across, like these get bumped and they go everywhere. Yeah, so like in a four-player game, there's just stacks of eight coal, and then Ooh. one hits, and it's, it's just dominoes. like dominoes. Yeah. It's horrible. So we just put a single piece of coal to keep track of our rounds that way, um, and it will be whoever is going first or last, depending on who's more competent, um, to keep in charge of that. Yep. So, are you going to do this Yeah, so I was going to wait to explain it. So, um, <clears throat> you're also going to place these starting tiles, but the one important rule is that uh, every route out of a starting point can't just connect to another starting point. So basically if that happens, which it might, um, <clears throat> you just have to replace. Can you type LO? Can you reach it? Can somebody reach it? What do you, what do you want? Type that? LO. <laughs> In chat? No, in, in where I have it right now. Just hit L O on the keyboard. <laughs> Yay! Oh, well, well, for Spotlight, you should specify. Well, mm. I was in Spotlight. All I wanted you to do was literally type L O. Yeah. That was it. That was pretty. I had actually. already. Yeah. <laughs> I had already specified and handled the rest. Okay, I just wanted to zoom mm. it in for folks. Mm -hmm. um, for folks' sake. Okay. For folks. For folks. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. we are at the very, very, very beginning of the game, start, we're going to go counterclockwise, starting with the person who is essentially the last person, um, and we're going to start placing our trains over in this region, and I'm just going to randomly throw some trains down for, like, teaching example purposes. Um... So, we're going to, in a three-player game, there are 16 spots, and we only have 15 trains, so there'll be one spot that'll be open over here, but for the most part, um, we're, we're going to be all up in each other's way. So, once we have placed all of our trains the whole way, um, on your turn, you have, you can do as many actions as you want, however, you are limited in spending four potential items to move your train. So um, you have four, it says actions on the board, but it's not really actions, it's more like four movement um, allocations, because there's other actions that you can take, like you can purchase upgrades, you can, yeah. So, um, on you my use turn, upgrades. Yeah, use upgrades. upgrades. Um, can you seed us our starting coal, please? Oh, we don't know who's going first. It's two and a whistle, right? No. Oh, right, because it depends. Everybody does get a whistle. John's going first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone does get a whistle. And then you and get then... three coal, I believe. And John gets two. John gets two. Yeah. yeah. It's two, two, three, four. Okay. Five. So everybody gets a whistle, and then John gets John and Steve get two coal, and I get three because okay. I'm going last. All right. So now let's say it was my turn. Um, I can spend one coal to move my train to the next stop. So no matter how far that track segment takes me, as long as it's just from stop to stop. So I could pay one and I go here. When you stop on a location that has a cube on it, you gain that cube. The red, blue, and green cubes are rare. So there are less tiles that have those in the game and they're worth more. Um, and they have yellow backgrounds to help denote that they're part of the rare set. The brown, white, and gray cubes are common and a little bit more frequent. So if I went there, I would get my one blue cube. Then I could spend more coal to move, and I could move this train, I'm out of track. Or I could spend coal and I could move another train. But let's do another example of how to do stuff. So one of the other things that you can do is you can lay tiles. Laying tiles don't cost any action points. However, you must move through or stop on any tiles you place in a turn. So I could place this tile here and then move through it, but I have to go to a stop. So I'd need to place an additional tile in this example to get, to make a legal move essentially. So now I would pay one additional coal and I would move along my two tiles that I had placed to that stop. So I only spent one coal to do that, but I ended up 
playing two tiles. So that's good. As long as you move or stop on those tiles, move through or stop on those tiles, you can place as many as you need. Well, you have a hand limit of three, but you can place as many as you have. Um, so I went there, so I get a great cube. Yay! Um, you are limited to 10 cubes that you can have, and you keep track of your cubes here, as well as how many um, like movement actions you have taken. So let's say that for reasons, I want another blue cube. Well, I can move this train that I have over here on this track to this blue cube. As long as you stay on the, as long as your train ends its position in the same column or west of that column, you're legal. If for some reason, let's say my train is um, here and I want to go to this white cube, which is back from my train, I would need to spend a whistle because if you ever end in a column which is east of where you started, you must play a whistle to move backwards one or two spaces. Mm. So I could use the whistle to skip the white cube and go all the way to the red. Mm. Um, alternatively, you can use a whistle to skip forward locations. So I could use the whistle to go around, skip this one, and then go to the blue. Um, that's also an option. So spending a whistle does take up one of your action spots. Um, you don't have to use all four movement action spots if you don't want to. However, I have set myself up very nicely to go here. So I spend one coal, and I go to this town, and I spend a blue and a gray cube. I get seven points, and I get the top coast-to-coast -coast stockpile. If for some reason I didn't want to purchase that, or I couldn't purchase that because I did not have the correct cubes, I would lose two points instead. So if you try to stop on a town and you don't have the cubes that the town wants, they ruin your reputation, I guess. They, um, you lose points. You're like the bus that drives by without stopping. Yeah. At the stop. You're that guy. <clears throat> um, you can use whistles to skip towns and stops. Um, you do need to m use uh, coal or whistles to move to any kind of special stops. You do need to use coal to move to a town or a coal yard or something like that. Um, for the most part, the special tiles are pretty self-explanatory, so there's that. Um, I can't actually place enough tiles to get there, but let's say magic happens and my train gets to here. Yay! If I have these cubes that this spot wants, I would get 15 points according to this tile. However, if I go here and I don't have the cubes needed, I lose 4 points in the case of this tile. But either way, once my train has gone to here, it is done, it is retired, and I move it to one of the locations up here, and I gain the resources denoted on that spot. And like I said earlier, once a train is placed here, it's locked, it's there, no one else can go to that spot and get um, those goods. Boop. So after you have taken all of your actions, you discard all of the tokens that you used for actions, um, and you draw back up to three tiles in your hand. There is an open face market over here, and you can either draw from one of these tiles or you can draw from the top stack. If you need to draw more than one tile, um, it is not instant replace. It is not TTR replace, as I like to say. Um, what else have I missed? Oh, and you must draw. You must That's draw all. up to three, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, upgrades. So another thing that you can do on your turn as a free action is you can purchase an upgrade. So the upgrades cost whatever is denoted um, in the upper corner. So this one is two white cubes. Um, at the end of the game, if I still hold on to this upgrade, I will get five points. And then um, you can use each upgrade once a turn. You slot them into your player board like that. Um, you can have max three upgrades. And when you use it, you put the coal on it. So for example, this one I spend a coal and I have two trades. Um, so the trades is the trading post you can trade. This is a really horrible graphic. Basically you can trade a common cube for two coal or a whistle or another common cube. You can share you can trade a rare cube for two common cubes mm. or a rare cube, another rare cube. Um, when you go to the trading post you have two trades, which is important to know. 
Um, another thing to denote is that you can buy upgrades from other players. So let's say I had this upgrade, it's new, it's shiny, I love it, and then Steve decides he wants it and he can buy it from me. So for Steve to buy the upgrade, he has to pay what cost is denoted on the tile, and he has to pay me a rare cube of his choice. Oh. But it has to be a rare cube. So yeah, the upgrades that we have in this game is turn a um, coal into a gold. Gold is just points at the end of the game. Ah. You just grab one the random. Just Oh, they're points at the bottom? Yep. Uh, three to Please six. Don't. Okay. <clears throat> um, this one is no player may go to any stop where you have a train. That's mean. Um, and it's two of any common cube. This is um, your hand size is five. And it's two brown cubes. I believe that's what that stands for. Yeah, it is. That makes sense. And I think you can... Yeah, and you can play all five basically yes. if you. Wow. As long as you can do it Pull without it stopping, yeah. If you yeah. can, you can just keep placing. Um, the safe is you spend two white cubes. You can spend a coal to um, swap stocks. Um, can you? Is it? Does that have to be the same company, or can it be? Unclaimed stock. Oh, cool! So you can swap company even. Um, you remove your swap stock from the game. Oh, and you can't swap if it's not on the board, so you can't use it to get around oh, the... a town that's not been out yet. Yeah. yeah, and then this one is two white cubes, and you get to trade a coal for two trades, which I already talked about. Yeah. At the end of the game, the um, so you're gonna get points throughout the game by making deliveries, and then at the end of the game, you um, each company will award 15 points to the majority stockholder. Mm -hmm. The stock tokens are numbered one through um, six. And if there is a tie, whoever has the lowest number of stock tile is the winner of the tie. Um, you also will get points for your gold. You will get points two, two, for every two pieces of cardboard tile that you have, you will get one point. Um, and then you will also get points for upgrades that you have still in your possession. Do goods give you points? Uh, yes, you will get... One point for every common good and three points for every rare good. Right. And then otherwise... What's this? Oh, so that's the stock market tile. That's one of the end positions. So if you land there, you go to the final destination like yeah. normal. But when you land there, you get three points per stock that you own, but you must return one of the stocks to the market. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so if you play the stock game heavy, that's kind of where you want to aim. And some of those stocks might be useless at the end of the game because you're not the majority holder. Makes sense. So we now need to each have a hand of three tiles. Also, at the end of the game, you will get minus 10 points mm -hmm. for any towns that you have in your hand. Oh, wow. I think it's yeah. only special. 10 points? Yeah. Well, it's each special tile. Oh, I just so, call yeah. all special tiles towns. So yeah, coal yards, gold mines, trading posts, general stores. Anything with the big black. Do we Background. get like any sort of income of coal? Yes, we will get the every round. We will get two coal each, and including the start round. So if you want to, oh, cool. except two for coal. the second to la third to last no, round, the, whatever, yeah, whatever this that round, one you, nobody gets coal. You get a whistle instead. Okay. And Whew. Rules are better than coal, right? Because you can skip stop. Whew. Then what? Oh, whistles are better than coal because you can skip stop. And you can go back. You can end at a stop, which is pits. backwards from the one you're at. I should cut pits in the table because coal belongs in pits. Oh, you just have recessed wells. Yeah. Cut, please? Yeah, that's your hand. Um, <laughs> this is a horrible <laughs> starting hand. Who uh, and then we will go counterclockwise starting for from the last player for train placement. Me. So you get to be first even though you're last. I get to be first to be last. Um, I was trying to catch up on <clears> chat. I just want to point out this tile looks like a smiley face or a frowny face by someone that has an eye patch. I think. Yeah, there's not. Ooh. Yep, frowny, frowny face with an eye patch. Okay. Um, sweet. So I have to start placing trains. The problem with this amazing new table 
is it makes it look yellow. I think that's more of the lights. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me figure out... Well, we can, hey, that works. We can fiddle with the white balance That works later. for right yeah. now. Um, so I think it white balances differently on the black table. Um, the black it's auto white balancing right now? That's right, so we can, so. We can fiddle. Okay, I have to go. I have to, I have to go. I have to start. Oh my gosh. I have to play the train. Oh, okay. Um, I will play the train right Also, here. I should note, John, there are only two tiles of each town. So, oh, yeah. oh um, yeah, where you get stock from. Where you get stock from. So if you see two, if you see two, there aren't any more that are going to come out of each stock town. Yeah, got it. Are all those tiles going to get played? No. So it's possible that a town couldn't come up, or that they'll mm -hmm. only do one tile had, for the whole game. Yeah, there was a tile. There was a town that didn't come out until the very last round, until the last game we played. We're placing all of our trains. We're placing all of our trains. Wow. This is you know the first sixth of the game. And uh, it is entirely possible for you to just be blocked in forever by someone who is a bad person. <sighs> see if I can... Hi, E.T. Can you not move through trains? You have to pay a whistle to skip them. Oh. Uh, Unless you have this, then you can't even... Wait, but this says you can stop. That's for towns. So normally you can oh. share towns with other players. You can't share circular stops. Got uh, it. Turn. Yes. Okay. So if Steve moves the green spot and Tiffany's blocked in there, she's supposed to be. Yeah, he likes to do that. It's kind of my ammo. He did it again. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. Uh, Wait, did you just place? Yeah, because he cheated. Cheat and Steve, take oh, it back. Oh, did I skip you? Yes. Cheat and Steve. Cheat and Steve. My name is Cheat and Steve. So Cheat and Steve. I mean, so you you're just taking so long. I thought you had already gone. Train crash in your ear. Ah! It's a, that's actually in my ear. Yeah, it fits in your ears. This is why this game is not for kids. Oh, I fit up my nose, too. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's, yeah. It feels adult child testing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have an idea for a new YouTube series. <laughs> will it fit my nose? Where will it fit? <laughs> um, Board game edition. Uh, uh, let's, let's start with, let's go back to will it fit in my nose. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's okay. I'm starting, huh? You're starting. I am happy that this stream is happening. Is happening. I've been wanting to play Whistle Stop with y'all. Yeah. Since we got this game two weeks ago. I'm glad it worked out. Yeah. Hi, are you telling me it's time to give you a thing called? Dinner? Yeah. Where is your dog? Uh, on my foot. Okay. Bitcorgy. I would I would invest in Bitcorgy. Not mm -hmm. sure. I'm just grabbing grabbing a bunch of cubes. Thank you. Dog coin has too much value. Clearly, you should have a competing mm -hmm. currency called Bitcorgy. Uh, you should only have to pay two coal for that. To move twice or three times. Yeah. Where, where was the third time? There. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. You were correct. Uh, I think I'll... S How do you like sitting at this new table? This is the first game we played at this table. I'm sorry. I'll stop there, maybe? Your whistle stop there. This is oh, the no, first game we've played on this new yeah. table. I it just is. want to tell you all. And it's not Kings of Iron Steam. It's not, I for promise. Which I will forever hold a grudge. I promise. There's trains. I'm sorry. We can play I'll later. Just, we I'll have just, to dig it out. I'll, I'll, pretend, I'll make pretend airship noises, though. Okay. Sure. 
Sure, why not? I told Steve if he helped me build the table, the first game could be King Baron's team. Fire. I mean, I had every intention. We just also decided to do the board game shelves and the table at the same time. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. So I redraw. Mm -hmm. um, put that red and green one. <gasps> there should Christmas. be crowns and drinks for all. We don't have any crowns, do we? I don't have any crowns. Uh, we have a train conductor hat. We do have a train conductor hat. We should sure. be wearing that. And I'll take one off the top. Um, I am going to go to this brown spot. Why is there coal food. here? It's, it's oh, nice. that's my starting coal. And then I am going to go here. You got a brown cube? A you brown cube and a red cube. And then I am going to go here with another coal and get a blue cube. Uh, and then... Should I? I am sitting close to you. I mean, I don't. I don't really see a better move. So I'm gonna have to get a green cube. I don't like you anymore. Uh, and that, that is my turn. I Since will... this game has come into mm -hmm. our lives. <laughs> Ooh, the second USA Freight. Uh, put all of these back in the coal pit. <laughs> That's right, remember, if you see some towns and they end up in your hands and you never play them the whole game, you get a big trouble. Negative 10 points. Yep, but it's a big deal. you can camp them and then play it right at the end when somebody else can't go there. Yeah, it's really great. It's a great strategy. It goes with that whole camping spots strategy. Someone saw that. Um, for a great cube. Choo choo. Chugga 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 choo choo. You know, I used to like you. I used to like me too. Aww! You're a great guy. Self esteem. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just go there. Is that what the self self trains? And then I'll go, out there there again to nice. go there. Self I need a blue and a gray. Yeah, yeah. I need a blue and a gray cube. And then that's in the round. So um, I get two coal. Steve gets two coal. John gets two coal. Yay. And now it's John's turn. Uh, Bob asks if there's a way to get whistles other than the top tile in the start of the game. Yes, there are whistle factories. Yeah. Uh, of which there is one in the market. So if someone takes this and puts it down, anybody that lands there can get a whistle. Also, in yeah, the if you yep. do a, yeah, final dust. And I think it's not in this game, but I think there's an upgrade that lets you just convert a coal oh, into a whistle. There are two You can only do that action once when you go there, right? Yes, you have okay. to you have to go you have to leave and come back. So like staying here is lucrative if you can make it work. Yeah. So doing that, take that. Just give me seven points. And then I'll move that north. Yeah. yeah. To the coal yard, get two more coal. And then I'll spend one of those coal to go to US Freight for five more points. Remember how last game you blocked me, so I blocked you, which in turn blocked me. And then neither of us won. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a shame if that happened. It'd be a shame if that continued to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to spend a coal to get this white cube, uh, John, if you don't mind passing me. Well, I'll just take it. Um, I guess I'm done. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no. yeah. No, it's fine. Way to go, Steve. Steve's really into this game. Sorry, I just there was enough of a pause. Just keeps skipping. I just, you know. Oh man. No, I'm good. Hey, Chad. Uh. Oh, 
So you're going to come next Thursday, you think? Potentially. Not if you need to skip Tuesday, that's fine. What do you think about Tuesday? I don't know. Probably just something fun. I think oh, we're... That sounds terrible. I know, right? <laughs> we don't have anything scheduled, so if you have anything that you want to stream, Tuesday we could... It could be a John Brings a Game stream. Yeah, we don't want to stream. Um... I've gotten Lisboa yet. You haven't gotten it yet? I was going to say Lisboa! <laughs> um... Oh, yay! Pre-orders are shipping today. That makes me so happy for you all. Good timing. It's great timing. Um, we could play Roundhouse. We could play Roundhouse. I do like Roundhouse. That would be, Good that would be a fantastic thing. Um, but Thursday, next Thursday, Steve and I have invited... We're going to finish the living room by next Thursday. Promise. Um, but we have invited all of our Portland friends um, to come and play games with us for a Gin Can't stream on Thursday. Uh, and we're gonna be playing Word Slam, and probably like uh, Codename Sweat, maybe on Teams. I think Word Slam is gonna be the big, big game that we play. Um, maybe uh, Karuba with the internet. Steve and I are hosting the um, Haba Karuba Gen Can't game this year. We just don't know when it's happening yet, <laughs> so we have to figure that out. Q. But that will be sometime this weekend. I'm hoping we actually do it when my nephew's in town, but I think it might be a Thursday I stream. I will take Even though my nephew would be awesome. This. Can you create a loop? That was legal? Like, could you yes. like, loop this? Yes. Um, but you would have to uh, You have to pay whistles. to get out of it. Yeah. But yes, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, say I was on this track, and like someone else was on this track, you could like, loop them? Yeah. Yeah, you could be a dick. I'd be a dick. No. Uh, I would never. Okay. I would never do I'm that. I'm going to put those two back. I that would should, be a Steve. Should I wait? <laughs> Only if it was cheating. Uh, should I get. Wow. Oh, those require a lot of white cubes for uh, those upgrades. Did this go? No. I haven't taken a turn yet. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, because it didn't start. Oh, there. he's shopping upgrades. Okay. I understand now. No, I can't. I can't find the upgrades. Oh, I guess it's Tiffany's turn. No, it's uh, too... Well, it's oh, it's too the same. Common. No, it's too, it's too different. It's I, too sorry. different. I choose not. I choose to choose not to buy that. Wow. Wow. Okay, um, I'm going to pay a call to go down to this blue, because it's on the same column. It's still legal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. I see. Also, Steve, I'd just like to point out that I am no longer in front of your train. I would just like yeah. to point that out. Yeah. No I longer... noticed that. I wanted a gray last turn and I couldn't get one. Aww. Because you were in front of me. Aww. It's pretty sad. It is really sad. Not as sad as your score is going to be. Oh, I'm saying a whistle. You deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where did you go there from? Oh, from there. Wait, from here? Yeah, no. I skipped you. Wait, oh. I played a whistle. That's right, because you can skip over other trains with a whistle. Yeah. Wow. I played a whistle. I hope you wanted a red. No, you didn't need a red. But I can hope. Um... Grr. Grr, grr, grr. I'll pay. It was one of the cool. fan favorite characters from the old Invaders M cartoon. Let's go there. Actually, no, I won't. I'm gonna leave that there to upset you. Um, I will instead play this one. Very nice. Um, to pay a call to go there to get a white cube, and then I will pay another call to get two calls. So I will just keep my two call. A laundering call. Um, and then that's the end of the round. So Steve and I. Get to call. And then John got to the own call. I moved it. And I get a tile. Oh, I didn't notice So that. for towns, you can be on the same space? Yes. The big, okay. the special tiles, you can. Cool. Do you get it? You know, we need the whistle factory. I'm going to make the sacrifice. <gasps> the, um, the board is textured with an interesting, like, this faux 3D. Oh, printed texture. Yeah, the printed texture. Sure, sure. But yeah, it's uh, interesting. Little cube corners, it looks like. Oh, hey, Angela. Yay! I 
hand does Pink not. Pink Um. Alright. If I did this, would I have to pay a whistle to go to the gray? To go to the gray? No. Because you're moving... You are ending... It's where you stop. It's where you stop. So, because you're not paying... Because you're not skipping a stop, and because you're not stopping east of where you started, you're ah, fine. Okay. <laughs> That's the cursed spot, apparently. Tiff and Co. Tiffany and Co. Ugh. Hello? I'm thinking of changing my name again. Again? Again. Go back to Tar. Oh. Um, now let's... I can legally be Tar. You can call me Tiff. If you want. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. Would that be the first line in your autobiography? I think seven points. Call me Tiffany? No. You're going to take seven points? I, I think it would be a whale of a book. Shouldn't you have more points? I should have a lot more points. Yeah, you should have five more points. I should have five more points. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I just... It was weird to me that you weren't winning by more. So... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, so... No, but my name would still be Tar. Um, I kept my maiden name. It's part of my middle name now. So if you do the capital initials, I'm Tark. Or just Tar Kyra. Sorry, I just... I'm Switch back to Tar. I also have no cubes. Okay. Where are you? Were, you were done, good sir? I am done. Yes. Yeah, keeping my maiden name as part of my initials was important for brand as well as personal. Uh, and, yeah. uh, and then I will spend a coal to go here. Pay a blue and a gray. Or a coast. Two coast. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's been raiding the coast to coast. Oh, geez. Jones has two of them? Yeah. I don't know if I want to fight John for these. I don't think it's much of a fight right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but that does give me seven points. The irony. The irony. I think I will be done. Done with him. Um, much. we watched Fire Rangers last night. I'm a little weird, dark creatures. We watched the Power Ranger reboot. Mm. Actually, well, you watched both Power Rangers oh, reboots. God. We watched the, you know. <laughs> that one was good It's too. not a reboot. It wasn't, the one that you showed me was not a reboot. It was a continuation of the existing plot line. That's, that's, that's true. not a reboot. That's, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Technically, it was a continuation of the existing plot line. Yeah. With the same costumes, even. Yeah, which was weird to see adults wearing those. But, like, buff adults. Um, I'm going to pay one cool to go to the Whistle Stop. Whistle Factory. This go. is Whistle Stop. Making ha, a ha, Whistle ha. Stop at the Whistle Factory. <sighs> now you're both in front of me. We need to talk about personal boundaries. Hey, we're train companies in the 1800s. <laughs> Are we in the 1800s? <laughs> I mean, probably. It makes sense, yeah. I don't know. There's train, oh, there's no. train posts? And... I guess it's... Starting the from the East Coast, take control of Pioneer Railroad Company to build routes. Yeah, but this is after the driving of the Golden Spike. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to boom towns of the West, which could be in the, you know, 1960s. Yeah. Um, yes. Steve's middle... Steve is Steve CC because his middle name does start with C. <laughs> One of my middle names. Yeah, he has two middle names. And I have two middle names now. Whoa. We made it a thing. I just have one. I used to be like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's lonely here. One middle name <laughs> side of the table. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, I'm going to... Ooh. I'm down. It's, it upsets me that I can't play it so that it's oriented straight up and down. Um, but I'll play a call to go to the Rolling Thunder. 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 There's a country song that has Rolling Thunder and the lightning strikes. Um, hey, Vince. And something, something, it's stuck in my head whenever I see that tile. Anyway. I now own the Rolling Thunder. What are you going to do about it? Keep them doggies rolling. And then I'm going to green. Um. Oh. Do I want to mosey into the trading post? Just like a real cow girl? Um, cow train? Cow train, yeah. Garth Brooks, Thunder Rolls! You got it, Mad Bona. They get me. You are my people. Um, okay. <sighs> John Galtrain? Yeah. Think, what is what is this that you are doing? I don't want to do that. That's silly, 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 silly. All right, I'm actually just gonna um, cut it off. But that gets us more coal. Yeah, it does. And I draw a tile. Actually, I draw two tiles. Ooh, what do I want to draw? What do I want to draw? Let me just get one of these. Okay, what do I want to do with my life? Yeah. Did Steve get his call? No. no. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Oh, sorry. I have to keep putting it on the and door then spot. We on the didn't board. do that. Okay. Now it's John's turn. Now it's my turn. <laughs> They're trying to guess your middle your middle name. Let's do this. There. Bam. And then I'll get a white. And I'll go get some more coal. And I'll go get the set of these. Cheating. His middle name is Cheating. Ha. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cletus. That's a good one. Cheating. Cheating wins. I might actually just change it. I am done. I bought hey, some Vince. more U.S. freight. Oh, I get that one works. Cool train. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Clarence. His middle name's Super. I. It's super obvious. It's super. I'm super playing a whistle to skip over John. It's not exciting or interesting. Oh, oh watch the whistle. Yeah. I'm gonna pay a call. Charles got move. it. It's Charles. It's cheating Charles. Steve cheating Charles. <laughs> I need to, after my next turn, get up and feed the dogs. <laughs> um, let me just go here and wander one coal into two. Alright, uh, I'm gonna redraw, but that's a me. So you? Are you a mob, y'all? Um, okay. So, I have a very funny game to play myself. I play a whistle to go back to the whistle factory to get a whistle. <laughs> I like this game. Um, and then I will pay a coal. Hang on, Zizi. To go there to get a brown cube. And then I will play... The Steve and Tiffany playing competitive games together story. <laughs> you could benefit from this move. I don't want that brown cube anymore. I take Whoa. I take that back. Whoa. I 
I'm going to answer the age-old question that that old song once asked. You should feed the dog, not let her out. It's a weird song. It's a weird song. It's a weird song. Yeah. Do I even want to go to the whistle stop now that I realize that what I was going to do would benefit Steve? I think the answer might be no. The answer might be no. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Um, it's my own fault for not realizing my husband could be benefiting from that. Um, I will play a cool however to go there. And then I will play another call to go there. And then I will play this tile Ooh. here. Ten pointer. Um, <coughs> and then I will pay a call to go there to do a green and a blue for the St. John's Express. St. Louis. Sorry. Yep, St. Louis. Louis. For ten points, wow. and then I will play a whistle to go backwards, skipping a spot to go there again. Whoa. To do it again to get the second stock. Jumping in the lead. To be at twenty-five points. Bam. Um, and then uh, that's the end of the round. Giving Steve and I call back. Um, ooh, the general store. You say ooh, that's nice. Feel like a winner. Wait, what is that song? I just have country songs stuck in my head randomly for no reason today. I feel like I'm gonna pick up the general store. All right, uh, and then we advance the round. Correct. Mm -hmm. You didn't do that. I did not. Okay, cool. Um. And it's John's turn, and... It is my turn. I need more the garage. Oof. It's almost your turn, Dawson. Huh? No, oh, you're also doing it. Try to hydrate. I sweat it a lot. Wait. Oh, oh, let's see. Turns out, okay. when you shellac things in 90 degree heat, it's very warm. Oh, you should get in first. Incoming. That's not water in that other glass. Shh, it's it's very clear. Mm -hmm. Also, there's something. You got some shellac in there? Oh, it's in my water. Glass. Cut the towns off of Tiffany. Great! Thanks! Yep. You're the best! Oh wow, it's like a big. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll move and get a green. And then I will. Up on the chat, cheating Charles. Uh, Kabuki Kid, we are going. Steve and I are traveling to the path of totality for the eclipse next week. Um, our Steve's sister and our nephew are coming into town next weekend. And we are going to take them to a Corvallis, which is just an hour south, to stay with our friends who live there. And we're going to play board games with them on Sunday, and then we're going to get up early and do the eclipse. And hopefully it's not cloudy. Awesome, Bob. Where, where in the path are you going to end up? Also, I hope that the eclipse doesn't turn into a laser, and it's that path, because that would not be good. They'll make a cool animation, though. Yeah. yeah. Huh? John, making a break westward. Coming for it. 
Westford Ho. Did I really spend all my coal last time? I'm a fool. I'm not full of coal. No, I'm not. And I will get... Let's get one off the top. Oops. I like our new table, guys. This is the first game, but I like it. It's um, two inches wider. Let's talk about our table while John's going. What did, wait, what happened with my camera orders? How did that happen? Um, I'm back. Super turn. So this is the IKEA uh, Starnas table. I'm pronouncing it entirely wrong. But it is, um, Cena is eating her dinner. It is solid pine. And we got this one because it is two inches wider than our old table. And um, we constantly kept one of our, our old table had two leaves and it, and we always had the second leaf out. We never put the second leaf in. It just didn't make sense. Um, Cause we had the cat box on the table always. And then if we were playing any games that weren't just Steve and I, we always had to have a leaf out. Um, but we did also like that there was a third leaf we could pull out for bigger games or four player games. So we love that table. I have, I have, that table has been with me for almost 10 years now, um, which is pretty good for an Ikea table, honestly. But um, we decided, especially with these streams, because you all are here with us when we game a majority of the time now, we have an extra player when we're streaming. So if we actually have four physical humans, our old table didn't work for five players, because we count you as a player, essentially, because you kind of take up the space of a person. Wow. <laughs> well, no, but, like, we also talk and hang out with them. Like, yeah. it is, like, you're yeah, just Yeah, it is, here, like, it is another person. Um, so we wanted a table that would work and fit everybody comfortably, including the camera setup. Because we had, for a while there, the camera was in a bad place and it kept getting knocked. And here, it's like, it has its own protected area and it works really well. Um, and we can fit four people at the table comfortably. And we're not like banging legs against the legs of the table. Um, and so we wanted a table that was as big as our old table with an, a leaf out. Um, that Steve and I could sit side by side at and not be uncomfortable. Because we were uncomfortable when we would sit side by side on our old table. Um, and, and we also wanted a table together. that would last Ooh, and be a little bit sturdier. So this is solid pine, and so if worse comes to worse, I know that I can just sand this down and refinish it. I know that I, I'm like, I can drill holes in it, I can do various other modifications, which I've already done some modifications to it. Um, so we're going to release a video about our table. You done? Yeah? No. No. We're going to release a video about the table and, and a little bit more in depth why the table and the options of the tables we looked at and stuff like that. Um, kind of just nerd out about IKEA tables. And then I will also post a little, part of that video will be a little how-to instructional for the modification that I did this table, to this table, which makes it a super secret gaming table. Um, so yeah. Which I can't show you because it's not done yet. Is it? Okay. And now it's my turn. So that's the story on the table. Want that? Fantastic. Glorious. Just like my tiles in my hand. Um, I'm excited about this table not being black, so there's a possibility I can play games that are primarily white <laughs> without the that white was, balance being crazy. That was another one, is we wanted a table that wasn't white or black. We wanted something kind of in the middle, so we didn't have the way balance mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. Nice table. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I will no longer have to steal curtains frantically at the start of a stream. There's a tablecloth table literally right here in this drawer, and instead he takes down my curtains and uses my curtains as a tablecloth. Nobody table said there was a tablecloth in that drawer. Does the drawer say tablecloth? There are two tablecloths right next to this is a tablecloth, and that's a tablecloth. <laughs> and instead he takes my white curtains down. Um, anyway. Did we get that tablecloth for or something? Origins. Yeah, I did that. Oh, I did that straight I have before. two. No, I have two tablecloths in there. One's from this Origins and one's from the last Origins. Yeah. And now I have to take my turn instead of yelling about tablecloths at you. Those curtains didn't exist. I'm just saying. They're quantum curtains. 
So many camping American Railroad. Still good stuff. Tails. 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 Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> Y'all are interesting folks. Um, I will pay to go there. Um, and I get to do two trades, which is wonderful. Um, I am going to trade the, um, I am going to trade this red for two commons, and those commons shall be a, oh, do I want to do that? Mm -hmm. A gray and a white. Thank you. And then my second trade, that uh, gray and a white. Um, what did I get? Green. That works. And then my next one, I will trade in a white to get two coal. Um, and then I will. Um, Play a coal to go here to get a brown, and then I will pay a coal to go to the whistle factory and get a whistle, and then I will go to Rolling Thunder to get the Rolling Thunder for three for another five points, and then that's the round. Steve, I got coal for Steve. Me. Boop. Um, there we go. Halfway through the game. So it ends in this round. Yep. Wow. Yeah. We are playing pretty fast. <laughs> um, okay. I'll pay two coal. Uh, the noise is from the dog. She has this mushroom that we put food in the bottom and then she like bats it and it flips head over heels and disperses food. Um, <coughs> and it keeps her somewhat entertained. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll pay a cool get <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, they they thought the noise was they decided the noise was Ichi and Zena playing Manakala, <laughs> which I think is pretty good. <laughs> is she trying to play with you? I should look at my feet. Oh, you did. Boop and a boop. Bought some St. Louis Express stock. And that could sort of lose to it. I'm done. My turn. Two turn. I am going to do things. Things? Things. Whatever are those things? Involve movement. I also just like how this table's a little wider. Yeah. Two inches makes a difference. It does. So the size does it. The, um, the table that was a size up from our old table that was like the same style, it was actually two inches narrower. Oh, weird. Yeah. Um, so we made a... We we did a pretend game of Caverna in the middle of Ikea. Did you really bring it? No, we <laughs> forgot. We like, it was literally by the door. Oh, you were planning on it. But we were planning on it, so <laughs> instead we grabbed a bunch of catalogs from like the kitchen area, and we decided those catalogs were the size of the player boards, and yeah. so we laid them out on the table and like sat at the table and did stuff, and people would like walk by and like look at us and be like, "Oh yeah, that's normal." And Steve was like, "I bet you they think these are place settings," and I was just like, 
<laughs> Absolutely. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I mean, they. I mean, of course, they basically are. That's right. Reaching for the salt? Nope. Sending my dwarf for an adventure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so then Steve started to pretend to eat. It was gray. Yeah. Then we yeah, ended good. up eating. Yeah, just two grays. We had a hook style meal in the middle of Ikea. Oh, I need to draw a. Oh, oh. yeah, go for it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you done? You Most know, you're limited likely. to 10 cubes, and this method of your storage <laughs> concerns me and your cheating ways. He has nine. Yeah. You have space, I haven't gone over. You have space for one more cube, sir. Also, um, somebody earlier commented on my shirt. I love this shirt, and I had lo I thought I had lost it, and then I found it today, randomly. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to wear it. Good. It's a good shirt. It's actually not a great quality shirt, but I like it. It's your turn, by the way. Thank you. I should give that a match. Um, I'm going to pay a coal to go to there. Flipping John's train or Steve's train in the process. So um, I get roll. Uh, um. I feel like I'm just gonna have a train that just gets abandoned. Um, I'm gonna do that uh, and pay a call to get two call. Two call. Seems like a good return. Yeah, it's a train. Rubbing along for no reason. I guess I will pay one to go there to get. Actually, I don't need that. I'll pay the whistle to go there instead to get a white cube. And then I'll pay the pool to go there to trade in that white cube and this gray cube for another five points and another rolling Ooh, thunder. Three of them. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's my turn. Okay, marker. I have my coal. Income. Steve needs one more. And I need to draw! Oh, this one's great! Is that no one? Alright, I'm gonna spend a coal. Do this. <laughs> the dice coasters, we like the dice coasters. Um, the dice coasters are. Doo -doo -doo -boop. Um, they are a little slick, but I have a plan to fix that. Spend another cool to do this, which will trade these three. Also, in. moisture goes through them. Twenty. And I have a plan to fix that, but we do really like them. They're super thematic, um, and I know exactly what to do. I think I want this. Um, so has there been any new announcements, you know, like maybe Fallout, board game, anything like that, that anybody is interested in? Did you see that announcement today? Someone said Fallout Catan, and that was the only thing I saw about it. Oh, I didn't look up anything about So I don't know if it is Fallout yeah. Catan. It's not Fallout but Catan, because it's If there was, the, is it the robber in Catan, or the bandit, the raider? Who is it that takes your stuff on a seven? The robber. The robber. Oh, so Joel Eddy said that it was basically Robinson Crusoe, but competitive. Darn, that's not, that's not Fallout Catan at that's all. That's not Fallout Catan. Well, one, one thing about licensed properties is they're definitely a way to get people to learn complicated rules. Yeah. Um, we're going to do cork bottom to help with the moisture, yes. And then, um, I'm not really sure what to do about the, the stickiness. I was thinking that I could, like, route mm. it down, but then you would lose the awesome dice factor, so. 
and I just live with the fact that it's a little slick. What happened with Guam today? Wait, I'm gonna do this. Uh. Related to Twitter being junky. <gasps> Mad Bona drew crowns on us! What? Let's oh, yay! Crowns and drinks for all because it's our Thanks, inaugural Mad Bona. stream. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's great. Wow. Can I buy these at any time? Yes. Yeah, free art. You can, uh, you can buy one a turn. Oh! I'll spend a coal for a gold. Two tiles are missing from setup in the second column. Scott was apparently sending us critiques from on Twitter, and I did not see them. You set up on the second column? Oh! Oh, right, in the corners. There's supposed to be tiles here oh, and there. Oh, oops, I forgot that. That's our screw up. We made it harder for ourselves. Um, Scott, thank you for watching. I wish you were in the chat. See this? Uh, you can use upgrades multiple times on one turn, up to four times if you have the coal. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, because they're just coal connections. Yeah. yeah. It's just your normal actions. Cool. I will add those notes to the um, doobly-doo. I think I'm just going to start doing that. <laughs> Mad when I just realized that John does green. Click. That's okay. I'll be ready. Because I'm angry. No. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, John, are you done? I'm done. How do we use red in this game? There's a uh, yellow and an orange, which is weird. Um, and a... What's the color we're not playing with? Pink. Is that the orange? This is the orange. The yellow is kind of a... Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's yellow. It's kind of a coppery-ish mm -hmm. yellow. Ugh. Oh, North Korea threatened a, pre a preemptive strike on Guam. Great! Yeah. Um... Oh, and Trump has responded, huh? Well, yeah, because he tried to play hardball and... The ball played him. It's, yeah, one of those dog toys that's hard on the outside. Just, yeah. I'll stuff it. Um, I will go to the gold mine. And get a gold. And then I will go to the blue cube mine for my tenth cube for another coal. And then that is my turn because I am starved. Did you not get enough dinner? Um, I was like, where are my trains? Oh, they're right, they're right there. Um, oh, that's a horrible route. It's a horrible route. Off of that one. Mm, such a shame. Such a shame. I will pay a call to go there. Wait, why did I? Oh no, to go there. Oof, for a white cube. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'll pay a coal to go up here for a red cube. Um, actually, I don't need to do that. Sorry. Oh, you can still use a coal to go there to get two coal. Two coal for school. Oof. <sighs> Chat currently discussing the pros and cons of their various heads of state. Yeah, the world's yeah. a little screwed right now. Zena's taking her frustration out on her toy. Okay, well. She's done. Yeah, we should release the other doggo. Um, I will pay a call to go there for a gray cube. Thank you. And then I will go um, there. Wow. I'm assuming if the stock's empty, you can't buy stock anymore? You still have to pay the call. The, you still get the points, and you still have to pay the cubes. But yes, you don't get the stock. Alright. Did you advance Oops. the round marker? 
I did not. Okay. Um, at the end of this round, we will not get more coal. We will get a whistle. Just one? Just one. That's rough. They keep saying it's not a round marker, it's coal shaped. And nobody listens. We could put Bowser there, though his feet are about as big as the spots. You know what we could play on this new table that's slightly bigger? So it would work better? Giant Takenoko? We could also rampage in there, so there's cubes. Oh. It would, it's not big enough. Um, but we could play it on a coffee table, maybe. I'm excited about that coffee table. I need to film about the coffee table. Century Golem. Oh, I didn't know that. Is it related to Spice Road? Go, go, go. Yes. So originally you could get, basically originally Century was a bigger game and you could either get the Spice Road version or the Golem version. It was the same game, but the cover was different and instead they decided to split it into two games and so now there's the Spice Road and then Golem. I wanted the Golem version when they first announced it at last Essen. I keep thinking you're saying that curse from Firefly. Go, go Ram. Yeah, I know, the Go Ram. Yeah. Go Ram. Go Ram. Go Ram. The Go Ram version. Mm -hmm. Green. I'm not sure how it relates, but there's like there's three or four titles in this entry series. Oops, gotta stop the I don't this. think they're releasing it at Gen Con. I think they're just gonna have it for demo, potentially. Double double, trouble, trouble. Oh, it has gyms instead of open cubes. The problem is this quantity of stocks doesn't necessarily help you. Right, you want diversity, but yeah. Uh, my turn, sorry. Yes. Okay. I am going to go here for twenty points. Oh, it's for sale. Interesting. Okay. Three, two. Where do you wanna? <sighs> I mean, probably the wild and two whistles. Uh, and then for my wild cube. Wild, wild white or gray? I think a huh. green, actually. All right. And then. Yeah. Tell me more. BGG tends to be accurate in that regard, though they might have limited quantities. And then I will pay coal to go to there, and then a whistle for the green. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two, four, it is, six, yeah. So, no, so right. Bob says, uh, Hold on. on the phone. On the phone, sorry. It's okay. No, I don't hear that. Oh, right. I think it's. <laughs> Ichi got shocked. Sorry, Ichi. Okay. And then I will let you out while I'm doing this. I will draw that and then that. Okay. My turn has ended because that was the end of my turn. Go ahead and keep your whistle. Oh, for you know. Um, you don't get it quite yet. Okay, I'll yes. I'll just set it there. Yeah, yeah. For the future. Oh. 
Angelus is Johnson and Michelle. That is true. Um, There's a unicorn. But Bob was saying, um, this game seems to play lightly but win heavily. Like, the moves are quick, but the stock picking and the balancing of the east-west race is tricky. And it is. You it have is to balance tricky. picking up cubes and then, like, you can sway kind of what your opponents can do. Right. Um, and then just the distribution of basically the first half of the board has a huge... Uh, Huge impact on the rest of the game. For example, we have a lot of rare cubes right, right. now in these Lots early tiles. Uh, the last game we played, it was basically all gray, white, oh. and brown, so except for a couple. The... Well, there were like a couple rares early, and then people who pushed too hard bypassed the rare cubes, oh, and then it was basically uh, not cost effective for them to go blue. back to it. Ooh. That's nice. the general store. And then I will. Play a coal to go there to get a white, and then I will play a coal to go there, which is the coast to coast, for seven points. And... <laughs> um, right there. and then I will... I'm out of coal. <laughs> I was like, I will do nothing. do nothing. For you. Thank you. All right. Um, so this is the... Um, now, now I get Now, you now get I get my whistle. And I get a tile. Um, I get a whistle. Oh, I risk it. Oh, that was so worth it. So worth it. Would you risk it for risk it? Um, it's my new game show. We go here. Uh, has anyone played Yamatai, um, the new Days of Wonder game? No. I haven't either. The reviews that I saw were that it wasn't super great, but then I saw some reviews that said that it actually plays really interestingly uh, two-player, because it kind of has a similar issue that uh, Five Tribes had, where there's literally no reason to pay attention Unless it's your turn, um, because the board state changes so much. So now I'm like, ooh, I wonder. Have, what player count did you play it at, Angela? The network cards and networks are a bit overpowered. Yes. Yeah, I think. I keep checking Twitter now to see if Sky is still watching. Done. I got another St. Louis Express share. Well, I don't need to buy any more, so. Uh, my turn? Yes. No, you don't. Just um, one of the points. I'm going to play a whistle, points, which is a total waste, but I'm going to play this. The there it Road. is. So I'm going to play a whistle to go here, turn in a red and a white. Why is this a total waste? Oh, of a whistle. Oh. Uh, and seven points. Um, and then I will hilariously play another whistle to go here hmm. and then turn those three in for 20. Nice. Wow. 59. Where do you want to go? Um, I think it's a... I'm going to go to Whistle, Coal, and a Wild. What would you like? Uh, a red. Um, and then I'm going to pay Coal for a white. And then a Whistle to skip this to go into the gray. And then that, my friends, is my turn. Alright, Tiffany, your turn. Uh, Netters joined and they asked what she missed. And the summaries are pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty good. What did Bob say? Politics, spills, and a new table? Yeah. 
politics, jokes, and a discussion of the new table. Is that the inaugural spill? Of the new table? That was the inaugural spill of the new table. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's real wood. It's not even limited. Yeah, it like, well, no, but it, it was sealed very nicely. It just like yeah. sat there. It was it very good. Um, yeah, and then Mabuna was, you missed us ta taking over the world, inventing bitcoin crowns and drinks and Mancala playing dogs. Yep. There we go. If, if you're watching, if you're watching the recorded stream, at least half the fun is in the chat. It's yeah. totally in the it's chat. True. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play a whistle to go to the whistle factory to get a whistle. <gasps> what? To play the whistle. They're actually supposed to, say, to woo, skip woo. there to get yeah. too cold. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. You are, but I still love you. <laughs> I forgot. Instead of doing that, I meant to go to the general store. It's too late now. You're too late. To apologize. Uh, Too late. It's like I was there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to pay a coal to go. Mm. No. Why did I think that I could do the thing? Oh, because of that. Oh, do I want to do other things? My life is robbed of choices. Okay, to pay up coal, I could go to one of those. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, coal to go there to get a red cube, and then coal to go here. Using oh no I don't have a green. It was I was gonna get a green instead of a red I get a green and then I do a blue a green yep. and a brown. Nice. So I get twenty points and then I will get this one which is a red cube, a whistle and a coal. Me a whistle, a coal, and that is my cool turn. Again. I get two coal. <clears throat> it's too cool. All right, let me put it back to the board. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Okay, uh, John turn. The penultimate round as we race to the final destination. Well, I'm not going to do it. Just because why? Canutters, yeah, this is the new table, and the chat has done a great job catching you up on the table. Oh. The shelves are not quite done yet. They, well, actually, no, I guess technically the shelves themselves are done. I put the second coat of uh, clear coat on them today and sanded them, and so they're hardening, so we're not really supposed to do anything intensive to them until around noon tomorrow. Um, and that's probably when we'll be able to start. Yeah. Tomorrow is when we'll be able to start screwing them into the brackets. So tomorrow morning I'm going to get up early and go get screws because we don't have screws. Mm -hmm. um, tonight we're like verifying the placement, Steve and I, and then while he's at work tomorrow I will screw them all in and then start putting games on them because our games are still in a massive stack right there. And we get to be creative with our bookends to prevent uh, board game dominoes. Because these shelves are floating and have no uh, ends like the best of cabinets did. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have a shortcut.
Nope. Thank you. Yep. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> that oh, that's Doxy. Okay. The cat is scratching into the stack. That's a bad game to. That's a bad game to play, kitty cat. <laughs> like, she's like scratching at the base of a giant tower of board games. That could yep. crush her. I think the cat is also trying to figure out if we just built her an entire thing of cat shelves. She used to have cat shelves. Hmm? One of the apartments that I had, it was a lofted apartment, and the front wall had a window at the very top that was sealed. You couldn't open it at all. It was just like to let light in at the top of the apex of the lofted ceiling. And so I built floating shelves up to that windowsill, and so she had cat shelves. And the one was like right by the door, so if she was sitting on the one by the door, people would open the door and she would just walk onto their shoulders or head as they walked in the door. Um, and if you didn't know that we had a cat, <laughs> or that our cat did that, people would freak the frick out. Like, just, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she said cat shells. We could make her cat shells. There's a cat hammock that you stick to windows that I want to get her. Okay. No, I got anyway. it. Two, one. Okay, I got it. Abby was sleeping on top of Can't Stop. I don't know why, but Can't Stop became her bed. She slept on Can't Stop last night and the night before. No idea why. Which was on top of the stack. I am. Done AP. What's that? Done AP. Yes, I'm done AP. It's my one AP of the game. Oh man. Let me just verify. One, two, three. Okay. I'm and good. now I have to AP to make sure that what you did didn't mm -hmm. screw me over. Right. You know, I thought I remember reading it in the rules, uh, but if you go to a town and there's no railroad shares left, I think you just still get the points. I just can't. You get remember. the points and you have to use the cubes. Yes. No, I know. I just can't remember where that was in the rules. Okay. So you have to drop your hand, and if you draw on the last round, ten yep. tiles. Yep. I, I guess that's, that's why you wouldn't, that's why you wouldn't draw blind though, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think we were playing a game where like two out of the three. Yeah, Matt Bonin, the one they showed hand it's hanging hanging on car windows. I wanna get her that one. Ooh, that looks a nice one though. Hmm? It's looking really nice mm -hmm. one though. I feel like the trains are too pastel to really see though. Yeah. Um, we almost would have been better off playing with like ticket to ride trains. Oh just because yeah. the bright pop factor. Sure. Yeah. I love Can't Stop. We got Can't Stop used from a used game sale for like 10 bucks, and I just, I I love that game. I want the travel-friendly one that they, they have in Japan. It's just like a folded cloth mat. They did a Kickstarter for a dice version of Can't Stop. I mean, I guess it is dice, but like a, yeah, yeah, a, a yeah. roll and write, I think. Uh, no. Nah. I just like that one. Yeah. 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 I think I'm screwed. I should message uh, Zen to see if he could get me the Japanese one. The Japanese can't stop. Hey, it's the penultimate round, and I would like to take a turn. It is the penultimate round. Does this game work well with two? We haven't played it two player yet. We were planning to play it two player and then um, life happened and new table happened. So yeah, we just haven't played it two player. But one of the reasons we didn't play it two player was we decided it wouldn't be as visually interesting really? for the stream because um, each player only gets five trains in the two player, which is the same number of trains now. And because there's only mm. two of you, um, you get one additional round, but like less tracks are going to be coming out, and there's less chances for interaction. Um, and the game goes up to five. Wow! Um, because oh, well, everybody actually. just gets less trains. Oh. Yeah. So in five player, everybody gets three trains, and four player, everybody gets four trains. But in two player, everybody only gets five. Everybody still. gets so five. So there's only still. ten. There's only ten trains. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. 
Um, I am spinning my whistle to there to get that. Nice. Um, which is seven points. Shoop. Shoop. Um, and oh, I just screwed this whistle. Then I. Oh, okay. This did work, and then John did some stuff. Curve up, I have to spend a whistle, which I just spent. What did I spend? The end of the game is very much a how do I pull off any of the things that I've been wanting to pull off. Like, it's it feels like it starts ending. I mean, that whistle is kind of the, the game is about to end, but I still forget every time. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to actually, instead of spending the whistle, I'm going to spend two coal. So that I stopped at that gray cube along the way. And then I still have my whistle. Because John um, But I said because John's creepy. No, and then I spend the whistle to go and do the stopping. There you go. You get all the points. Mm, not all of them. That would that would imply there's a finite amount. Um so eight times three twenty-four. Four. 24 points. Um, doo -doo -doo. So I'm at 803. And then I have to put a stock tile back and um, cold dog nose on my toe. I think I'm going to put back the rolling thunder number four. Sense. Um, so yeah, and then I get thing, uh, um, I would like, oh, that was a flicker. Yeah, good thing we're getting the power redone next week. Um, uh, I'd like a blue cube. So the blue, this one? yeah, the blue, the whistle, and the coal. Okay. Cool. And that's the round. I got my two coal. Um, Steve mine. needs two coal. They're talking about a video game. All right. There's your two coal. Uh, it's the remains of Edith something. Here we go. Stock market. Ah, wait, I've read that far. I'm trying to figure out the game. It's the remains of Edith. You could just ask them again. Um, but it's what right. remains of Edith Finch. Hmm. Yes. All right, last round. I'm going to go to the stock market. I've got six, so I'll get 18 points. That's 82. I will get a whistle of coal and a brown. Spend a coal to go here. See? I enjoy this. <laughs> and keep it. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. We'll look into that game. To get 20 points, please. And I will get a. Oh, I had to draw. Yeah. That's important. Take that. Is coal and worth anything? It's one point per two. Yeah. Uh, whistle. Uh, same as coal. It's mixed in with coal. No, they're just tokens. Yeah. I can only trigger this once. Uh, no, no you can spend, you spend coal. Yeah, well, so you spend the action to do it, yeah. which is broke, and someone should buy it off of you, specifically me. Um, it's a two grade. I can do it. Well, it's the last round, though. Yeah, but I can still buy it off you. True. And then I get the five points. That is true. Um, You'd be spending five points for it, though. Preventing John from doing that. Sounds like something it's you would do. Points, actually. Um, you should do it, Steve. That's why it's less. You should do it, Steve. Yeah, you got a lot of cubes over there. Alright. Glad I didn't drop one. 
Yeah. Anyway, oh, I'm playing I Splatoon this. 2. I was playing Splatoon 2. Um, and then it was so hot here that our router kept having connected problems. Um, so I kept getting disconnected. And also, I heard the servers were just getting disconnected. Would this game be better for oh, Chunky? Is, I'm dead. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, I thought you were... Oh. I had to replace those. So. Those, you were going out of turn because you forgot. Steve hasn't had a chance to play first versions yet, no. Yeah? Not beyond our stream game. Oh. Yeah. We, oh, recently, so long, we recently destroyed our... Yeah, we recently destroyed room. our living room. Okay, well, this sucks, but... Like, the only reason we, we can sit comfortably at the I table... The only reason we can sit comfortably at the table is because the couch is now Run inoperable away. as a couch. The couch is covered in games. Um, like, this five. front edge of the table was covered in games, and in front of the table was covered in games. Are you doing games in the top shelf, too? Yep. Uh, last one. We had a hun we had 648 inches of game shelves wow. with the previous game solution, and with this shelf solution, we have. We had 644. And I we think had this, 644. This gives us 648. This gives us 648 inches in shelf and game shelving. So we have four uh, more inches of shelving space, um, but we weren't using all the shelving space we had last time, so we got to like figure it out. Whistle coal and a blue, I guess. It's green. I like the idea of netting. Oh, green. There's no blues. Oh, that's fine. I just I thought it was a green. It, it looks like a blue to me. It's just sad I couldn't go there. Yeah. I'm sad for you too. Yep. If only I had a whistle. And a way to get another red. Alright, I'll get a red and a blue. It's just more points to cubes. Yep. Alright. Yeah, you want um, more points and cubes. Here we go. That's me, but then I'll leave that one. Okay, I'm going to um spend a coal to go there for a red. Mm -hmm. And then I will Um, spend a whistle to go back here for another gray. You could just go there. I guess the whistle is it's an extra cube. And then I will go. Oh, I see. I need a white. Got it. Oh, I have a white. Why did I think? Making me doubt myself, John. <laughs> oh, crap. Shit, I was gonna go there, I forgot. I'm gonna go at St. Louis Express. There are many moves and many possibilities, and it's easy to forget what you thought you were going to do. Yes. Yep. Oh, uh, okay, great. Yes. Yes. No. I need that to get brown, not a gray. Well, I'll do that earthquake. Go there for a wait. I don't need a wait. Why do I keep thinking I need a wait? I don't need a wait. I go there for the coal for a brown, and then I will hey, spend a coal to go there to trade in this red and white for another. Actually, I have another coal. I'll do that as a green. Let's 
Two more points. But I get another American Railroads and nice. seven points. Nice. Um, it works know. better when it's not on rules. No, it, it just turned off. That's all. Um, yeah, and then I'm out of coal movement. So while I had, I could get the cubes to go to the place. I, I Would you like to draw the training post? No. You actually, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, there it is. <clears throat> That's the other one. Okay, that's the round. Yeah. Ah. Oh, so you got three. Yep. Okay, so the um, majority holder, uh, let's just do this way. Um, Rolling Thunder is, you. is me, so it's 15 points. Um, then of uh, American Railroads is, again, me, another 15 points. Of the St. Louis Express Company is then me, the 15 points. Okay, and then U.S. Freight is John for 15 points. Ah, ah. Okay, um, and then Coast to Coast is also John for another 15 points. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, so it's the stock. Then you get one point for every two coal and or whistles that you have, which is zero for me. Yeah. Then you get one point for every white, brown, and gray cube, and three points for every blue, red, or green cube. Did you just give me a point? I did. That? Okay. Cool. Um, so 21. And then you get any points you. We'll from see. gold. Oh, yeah, you caught me. So that's a uh, 19. Mm -hmm. 40, 57. No, I think I you still won by one point. Oh, geez. And then you get points from upgrades. Oh. And then if anybody had a town in their hand... Did everybody do gold? Yeah. Uh, if uh. anybody had a special in their hand, they would, might, they would lose 10 points. Nice. <sighs> and that's whistle stop. Oh, the score is just out of frame. There we go. Um, one point. Yeah, so John has 160. Sorry, John. Steve has 110. Had I kept that and gone for that, you would have won. And That's I true. have 160. Wait, wait, why are you apologizing to John <laughs> about me winning? I forgive you, Steve. Oh, because I gave I gave you the victory. You king me? Yeah, I king me. Are you sure? Because I could have got more points other ways, sir. No, but I had that in my hand, so I went there I to went prevent there. to prevent the minus 10. But that was going to allow you to go there to get the plus 15 instead of me. That wouldn't have blocked her. That wouldn't have blocked me. No, but I would have got a majority. Because oh. I would have gotten the second. Oh, but that's fine. I wouldn't have gone there. I would have done... I ha I could have done other things. But I, did, I could have gotten two of these in caps. Yeah. But I decided it was funner to get majority stocks. Mm -hmm. For 15 points? Yeah, okay. Well, no, it's actually well, it's... 7 plus 15. Mm -hmm. And I could have only, I would have gotten 30 points instead of uh, 22. So maybe John would have won. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I, I would have done something different. I think John would have won. I was planning that turns ago. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to log this plane. Yeah. This plane. Bam. I have a location now, which is the stream. Oh, nice. Um, so John has 160, Steve has 110, and I have 161! Okay, so that's Whistle Stop. Um, I will say that if you break it down correctly, like if you tear it down correctly, setup is not nearly as fiddly, which is what Steve is doing right now, he's trying to find the towns, because you have to like divide the towns mm -hmm. out for the randomization thing, so if you separate them at the end of the game, uh, from the separate tiles, it makes it a little easier. Oh. But, yeah, so what did you think, John? I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah? Um, I was expecting to AP more, I just had that one moment trying to plan out my last two moves, but I was just kind of playing by gut, and it worked out. Yeah, it's it's kind of because this is just so chaos. Yeah. I kind of just play it by gut and feel and kind of get a general strategy on how this is laying out. 
And then this is where stuff gets a bit more AP. Right. Um, totally. But I feel so many people take so much time, like, getting cubes and stuff over here that it doesn't necessarily... Mm -hmm. I liked the whole getting locked out of cubes. That was fun. Um, the, different, the variable delivery spots was seems like the adding to replayability. Yeah. And the stock market thing is kind of fun. The race there. Yeah. Yeah, trying to get the stock market out. There's also yeah. there's a, a second one too. I don't think we ever had a game in which those come out. But that yeah, one is you get points. four yeah. per round. Yeah. Crazy. Um have these come into play more in the other games? Um, I had a really good combo that was working for me last game, which was disgusting. Where I was just going back and forth between a gold thing, and I drew like eight gold tiles. Wow. Um, and then I started turning coal into gold, like you did. Yeah. And so it did, and then they took it away from me. Um, <laughs> That's neat. I like that trick. But yeah. Um, so. Hey, Willie, you made it, and it's over, yes. Um, also, hey, Eden. Um, yay. Oh, Eden yeah. showed up during your last stream. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I said, hey, Eden, but she oh, okay. didn't Oh, okay. I was in my, I was in my, in I was in the zone. What do you think of it, babe? Now that you're on your third play. You've done two three-player games, and then a four-player game? Yeah, because yeah. Sue's was three-player, yeah. Um... I don't know. I like it a lot. I like the I like the shared route building. A lot of train games we've played, everybody builds their own network. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that you're all building a network, and also the fact that even though it is a hex train game, every single tile has six exits. Yeah, that's nice. And a lot of them aren't connected to each other. So that there's really a potential much. for networks to just sh throw to networks to appear throughout the game, whereas oftentimes when people are APing in a train game, they're very explicitly building routes. Right. And in this one, you just have accidental routes, which is great. Um, so I think I definitely like that aspect, and I like the sort of soft cooperative, where mm -hmm. everybody kind of needs to work together to build routes to the end. Right. Um, one thing I've noticed in yeah, all the games that I've played is that routes will start being built towards certain tiles. Mm. So, like, it's very much a dense rat's nest on the right side, sure. and then the left side is, like, giant swooping routes. That's fine. The last um, two games we had, we have the 20, there's a 25 point mm -hmm. in game, and both games we just were all flooding to the 25. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the fact that every tile placement works, because every, it's hexes, or it's, um, not hexes, um, the six side tile placement always blows my mind. I just hexes. find it fun and interesting. Hexes, yeah. yeah, right. For some reason, I was thinking hexes, but I was thinking I had said the one that has five sides. Uh, but no, it, yeah, it interests me. I think that one just goes in one of these. Um, I don't know. I always, it always, it makes it fun because you're just like, well, this works for right now, and then like in four turns, you're like, God damn it, who played that tile? And then you're like, oh yeah, that was me. Um, so it's always fun. Yeah. Uh, I think we have. Oh. Oh, we need one for the gold. Those are Ooh. a pain to separate out. Yeah. Do a little one. That'll work. Should work. And then I'll just do the cubes and the other big one. Um. Yeah, I think I'm on four plays. Um, I haven't played five player yet, and I haven't played two player. I feel like two player. I just feel like two player wouldn't be as interesting. Um, I think two player would be fine. I think two player would be fun, but I don't think there would be enough interaction um, because it really does depend on what towns come out. Mm. And what stock comes out and how the tile routes, like, I very much feel like you have to, you would have to work in two-player to be all up in each other's business. Um, which Steve has no problem doing to me uh, while we play. I mean, you know, the same number of tiles are probably going to get played unless, roughly, unless people, like, race to the end. Yeah. yeah. You're... But you're still on the timed. Oh, yeah, so you, get one, you get only one more round. Yeah, you only get one more turn. So probably the board's not going to be fully filled yeah. in. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I want to play it two player and see how it is. But oh, I feel yeah, like I more too. more trains and more tiles is probably where the game shines. Right. 
I wonder if you could guess. fill it in a little bit more for that initial build. I feel like we filled it in really thoroughly this I mean, game. For two yeah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, also we forgot to place those two extra tiles in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Um, okay, so Eden asks, what's the high score in this game? I think so far the highest score we've had was... Um, over 100 and then under 200, I think. Yeah. That's where it feels. No, Maggie... What was it? Um, Maggie and I played. I guess we only had fifties. Um, I can now look back at this. <laughs> yeah, Maggie. Oh wow, Maggie had one hundred and fifty-two last time, um, and I apparently had one hundred and fifty-two last time. Oh, we did high tie. So I think like one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty is about where we're hitting. Um, in the hundred. 60 to 50 range seems to be what our highest scores have been. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we haven't played it a ton, but yeah. Um, does the board get played with less players? I don't know. With I mean, three players, it really just depends on what tiles people are drawing. I kept drawing special tiles um, because I wanted them out on the board, and if I hadn't been drawing the special tiles, I wouldn't have been incentivized to play them because they're negative points at the end of the game. Um, so I don't know if we would have played... She was also scratching my foot at the same time as herself. Um, I don't know. I feel like this game we played tiles really quickly. I feel like there were a lot more tiles in the back half of the board yeah, faster yeah. in this game. Yeah, we've had games where... Or, uh, last game we played, a lot of specials didn't come out, so everybody mm -hmm. was very slow hmm. to play tiles on the right half of the board because I think they were waiting for specials. Sure. And then when like the midpoint of the game came out, people were like, "Oh crap!" It was like a race. To, it was a race to the West Coast. Basically. Yeah. Um, so I think that first half of the game, like basically how fast people get trains to the middle of the board, kind of determines maybe right. what the end of the game is going to look like. Yeah. I think people just kind of hang out in the middle of the board for a while. Um, yeah, so, let's see, Madbona wanted to know, uh, what we thought of Tokyo Highway, the popsicle stick game, she says, it was a lot of fun. Um, it we, was... we laughed at the fact that it had tweezers, yeah. until, like, the first time we needed the tweezers. I think that's a good way to sum it up, like, ha, oh, the game has tweezers, why are there tweezers in the game? Oh my god. There's this, the tweezers play a very serious and crucial role in that game. Um, but it's actually really good. It's a minor bit dexterity. You do lose points, essentially. Not really points, but you lose um, some of your own tiles, which is to a disadvantage of you if you knock over other people's roads and stuff. But for the most part, it's actually just an abstract strategy game um, with no, f with very limited physical restrictions on the real world, aside from like the tiles that you have and like how gravity works. Um, and angles. So yeah, it was interesting. But, um, I guess if you pre-ordered this game from Bezier Games, um, it is, or Bezier, mm -hmm. everybody says it differently, I don't, I don't know. Um, it, I guess, Bezier, is shipping yeah. soon, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, otherwise, they will have it at Gen Con, and you can demo it at Gen Con if you're going to Gen Con. We are not going to Gen Con, we are going to see the clips. Um, but we will be doing a Gen Can't stream next Thursday with um, folks from the Portland area who we like, including John, um, and some other folks. Um, we're going to be playing some party games, and then we're also hosting the Gen Can't Karuba game. If you don't have a copy of Karuba, you can find, there is a paper map thing online that you can find and just print off basically your own Karuba board, um, but we'll be doing, and then you can just like draw on it, but we'll be playing Karuba with the internet, because as long as you have your own board, you just respond to the person doing the bingo calling, which will be one of us, um, mm -hmm. and then you can play along, which nice. is great. So yeah, um, you should definitely partake in that game if you are going to be gin canting. Um, let's see, what else? Tuesday, or today is Tuesday. Uh, Thursday? Thursday. This Thursday. Um, oh, right. Um, what else? What else about, what about, about Whistle Stop? Thank you, uh, Bezier Games, Bezier Games, um, for sending us this copy of Whistle Stop for us to play. Um, 
that was super awesome of them to send this. And I, not only because I like the game, but because <laughs> they're helping support um, great content and also, you know, letting you guys sneak preview the game, which is great. And thanks for um, letting us know that we needed to fix our setup. That we forgot some extra tiles when we set it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you, so Scott, thanks, thanks, if, Doc, you're, if you're still in. watching. Um, but, yeah, uh, you, if, if you'd like to get your own copy of the game, you can go to Bizea's, um website, um, which is just Um and you can pre-order it. Actually, I don't think you can pre-order it anymore, but you can order it direct from them or your friendly local game store. Is always an option. So, yeah. Um, Nutters asks, is this a game that you will keep? And I would probably, I would say probably, mm -hmm. but right now, it still has a place in our collection. We find it interesting to play. Um, we do want to play it two-player, and then the fact that it plays as quick as it does and it can support up to five players, and it's not overly complicated to explain, mm -hmm. makes it kind of a, it, it makes it fit in really well with our collection, I yep. feel. And because of the way you lay the routes and the track and the way you complete contracts and get shares, like, it can live alongside something like Steam, which is very much, I build my routes, we're going to kind of AP over our roles and the income, and this is very much just... It's pick up and deliver. Yeah, it's well, with a, a race right. to it. It just it does that formula very well. It kind of reminds me of an eighteen x x in mm -hmm. like the stock market buying and like how we're kind of all mutually laying track and mm -hmm. things like that, and we're not really owning any companies specifically. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that, just in like a more casual exploration of the pickup and delivery aspect, but still maintaining a few of the um, concepts with like stocks and things like that, that you would find in a traditional uh, train game, like Age of Steam or Steam or, or an 18 XX game. So, yeah. Okay. Um, weirdly, this reminds me of Panamax. Hmm. I don't really get that. But now I want to play Panamax. Mm. So there's that. Um, it does, right. And this like cooperativeness of it, I think does. Oh yeah, more, yes, more yes. Players. Yeah, sure. Give yeah. me the game right there. Join us Thursday to watch us play Photosynthesis from Blue Orange Games. This is another Gen Con release, um, and we might have um, Jonathan Liu from Geek Chat on. I don't know. It kind of depends on his schedule. This is his copy of Photosynthesis sent to him by Blue Orange, and he's loaning it to us, um, so for us to stream. So if you would like to see photosynthesis, which I'm excited about, because um, there are trees, and you're growing trees, Ooh. and the trees, I know, wow. the trees are tree standees. That's awesome. And so, like, each player has their own, like, type of tree. Like, look at this. It's so pretty. So the green player is growing, you know, like oaks. Oh, this one has a bird on it. Huh. Um, so I'm really excited for this one um, to cool. play this. So this will be Thursday's stream. If Jonathan can't join us, it'll just be us, uh, Steve and I, unless somebody else wants to join. Also, I'm not quite sure. Um, this is somewhat of a, this is a pre-release um, press review copy, so it's not all final components. But I do know the trees are still as awesome as they're going to be. Um... That's it. Yeah. 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 So, so, okay. so join us Thursday for that. And I don't know what we're going to do next Tuesday. I just, you know, yeah. we'll find out. I will say those bowls look very good on this table. <laughs> Everything looks good on this table. But yes, especially Nutter's bowls. Hey, Nutter's. Are you still here? Can we order bigger ones? <laughs> um, we, we, can we get, like, slightly bigger ones? Sue's had bigger ones, and I really like those for some games. So I was like, ooh. So, yeah, if you just, you know, I'll DM you. Bowls and buckets. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Uh, anything else? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, oh, from us, no. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, oh yeah, Nutters, I need the link to your Etsy so that I can put it in the description. Because like every stream that, do yeah, that, that. that yeah. these play a major role in, they people always ask because they're awesome. So, yes. Um, 
Willie needs to do an Etsy apparently as well. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us and watching. If you're watching this in the future, not live, you should come hang out with us live. It makes a lot more sense. And then the production quality doesn't seem quite as low. Um, hmm. <laughs> dogs playing Mancala uh, aside. Um, so, yeah. Um, Sorry, Willie's freak out in the in the chats distracting me. Um, but you should join us sometime if you can. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for swinging by and watching, especially to this part. And thank you again, uh, by Zay Games for sponsoring us uh, or sponsoring the stream. I should I should specify. And we'll see you all Thursday. See ya. All right. Yeah. Thanks Night. All for being here. Night. Good night. Okay. And then we wait. Da 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 da. Ah. <laughs> nice.